Hello everyone, this is Gabby and Linda from Brain Education TV. We are so excited to be hosting our first movie premiere party on our channel. Woo! Not only is it exciting as a film itself, but also the movie showcases the impact and practice of brain education in action and practical application. And it just so happens to be a documentary. We love documentaries. Do you guys like documentaries? I love documentaries. It's actually my favorite genre of movie. So our documentary premiere today is for the film Love Heals, using the ancient wisdom of energy to journey within. The executive producer of this film is Ilchi Lee, who if you've been following this channel is the founder of Brain Education and who we also have invited for a few lives in the past year around various topics. We are so excited to have him joining us again today for our movie premiere. Yes, and we also have Dana and Chrisanna who are the producer and director of this documentary with us today as well. They will be giving us some inside scoop into the makings of this film and what plans they have for the documentary in the future. So with that said, this is gonna be the flow of today's program. First, we will hear from Dana and Christiana about the documentary, like their journey, the people they've met, the lessons they've learned about energy work that can be applied to your life as well, and so on. Then we will invite Ilchi Lee for a message about some of the things that you will see in the documentary. After that, we will show you an exclusive 12 minute version of the documentary so that you can experience it yourself. Then finally, we have a Q&A with the filmmakers and also Il Chili with some questions that we've received. We've had a lot of interest and questions about this film that were shared with us through social media. So today during this premiere, those questions will be answered. And if time permits, we will take some questions from the audience chat. So if anything comes up for you as we go along in this program, please feel free to type your messages in the chat. Before we begin, I want to remind our audience that as with all of our other broadcasts from Brain Education TV, we have our Super Chat button located below the chat bar where you can donate any amount you'd like to show support for our channel. Just so you know, for this special collaboration with Love Heals, we will be donating a portion of the Super Chat to the film project. So your donations today will contribute to not only us, but also the documentary's future efforts. So if you want to support Brain Education and the film, please donate in the super chat during our program. Yes, so now it's finally time to get started with this movie premiere. Without further ado, let's welcome Dana and Christiana. Thank you so much, Linda and Gabby. Uh, as they said, I'm Chrisanna, the director of Love Heals, and it is such an honor to have the privilege of sharing about this film with the Brain Education TV community. I know for me personally, the tools shared on this channel are actually tools that I use every day, <laughs> and it's really the foundation of the transformations that we share about in this film, which is why I'm especially grateful for you, Linda and Gabby, and how you are literally making these tools accessible to so many people around the world. Love Heals is a documentary focused on healing, obviously. <laughs> Last year in March of 2021, Ilchi Lee, the founder of Brain Education, reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in creating a film about an ancient principle that he believed would help so many heal if they only understood it and utilized it. What he didn't know at the time was that I had actually already been documenting Dana's healing journey, and I was especially curious about this wisdom and how it could help her. Hi everyone, I'm Dana, the producer of Love Heals. I am really excited to be here with all of you. When we first discussed this project, I had no idea that I would end up being the main character and protagonist of the film. The focus of the documentary was something I was very interested in experiencing for myself, and it naturally developed this way as Ilchi Lee decided that we needed somebody's journey to follow. For me, this film is very personal and really vulnerable as I share the ups and downs of my story over the last couple of years as I've been dealing with chronic pain. I went through two spine surgeries in the spring of 2020 when the pandemic first hit 
and during my recovery, spent most of my time researching and learning about chronic pain so I could figure out how to get out of the pain cycle. I learned about the brain and calming the nervous system and had tried so many different modalities to facilitate healing. And while they did help a little, my pain was still worse than prior to surgery. And I was so curious how this could help. I did have some understanding about this ancient wisdom, but hadn't really practiced it. And it was now my opportunity to do so. Mm. Some people have asked why so much of our film is based in Sedona. So I wanted to share about that. Sedona is actually known as the place with the strongest energy in all the world. And people literally travel from all over the world um, just to experience it for themselves. Now, if you are unsure of what energy is, don't worry. We explain a bit more of that in the film. For me personally, I was always sort of skeptical about this whole idea of energy in Sedona until I experienced it for myself. Some of my most profound healing experiences have been in Sedona. And every time we spend time on the sacred land, I can feel my body is different. In fact, Dana actually tends to have less pain in Sedona. And whenever we return home, she feels better for a few days. So there's something really special about the energy of this place. And we wanted to speak with those who could help us understand the energy and why healing can feel easier here. From what we understand, the red rocks create really intense magnetism and it helps our bodies more easily relax and go into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is really the state where we naturally heal. Originally, we actually thought we might focus our film on healing in Sedona, but we realized that the stories weren't limited to Sedona specifically. Healing was happening everywhere. Yes, and as much as I love Sedona, my hope is that people will watch the film and realize that they don't need to visit Sedona to heal, but understanding energy and the importance of energy balance helps facilitate healing everywhere. In working on this film, I've had the opportunity to learn from some of the most advanced energy healers in the world, talking to those all over the country who have healed themselves and speaking with experts who can share about the science of why this stuff works, and then participating in an intensive retreat alongside 18 others who were experiencing this practice for the first time. All I can say is that I feel forever changed and I have hope that this film is going to be like a beacon of hope for those struggling just like me. In documenting the transformations, I can tell you that what we captured on film was truly miraculous. The stories still bring tears to my eyes. And as I filmed each person's transformation, I experienced my own. Filming and editing this content has taught me so much about brain education and it's literally changed everything about the way I view energy balance, healing, and I think the power of love. What's beautiful about this is that it isn't just my story or Dana's story, it's the story of all of us. I mean, in one way or another, we have all experienced pain and suffering in our lives. And this film's mission is to share this ancient wisdom of going within to discover that you are your own best healer and the power of self-love. One thing I needed most on my darkest days is to know I wasn't alone. I needed community, others like me who could understand my pain and were able to hold space. That's exactly what we hope to create with Love Heals. We already have a Facebook group that you can join and we'd love to have you sign up for our newsletter on lovehealsfilm.com website so you stay informed of future events and screenings. We hope as you watch the film that not only are you impacted personally, but you are able to share this with your family and friends and spread the message of hope with others. And as more and more people learn about the power of going within and understand that they are their own best healers, we truly believe that our world will change. So it starts here. Yeah, it starts here. So today begins a worldwide premiere, and I am so excited to share with you a special sneak peek of the film and then answer some of your questions in the Q&A portion afterwards. But ultimately, my hope is that you watch the film with an open heart and an open mind. In this way, I pray that you will receive all you are meant to from the stories and transformations that you're about to witness. And in this way, may we feel love and spread love and healing around the world. Thank you so much for your sharings, Dana and Chrisanna. 
I agree that having a community is so important for feeling safe and loved so that you can heal. That's why we appreciate our brain education community, including our subscribers and viewers so much. And now I'd like to invite a very, very special person. He wears many hats, has many titles, has accomplished many, many things. But to us, he is our teacher, our mentor, and our guide who has inspired us throughout our YouTube journey and still continues to help us grow each and every day. He is the executive producer of this documentary, and we've asked him to join us in this broadcast to talk a little bit more about this film. Everybody, please put your hands together for Mr. Ilchi Lee. It's great to see you, everyone. I am Ilchi Lee. 저는 네 교육의 창시자이고 로비 힐스 다큐멘터리의 제작자입니다. I'm the founder of Brain Education and also I'm the producer of the Love Heals documentary film. 이 다큐멘터리를 만든 이유는 지금 우리에게 어느 때보다 힐링이 필요하다고 생각하기 때문입니다. I created this documentary because I believe the world needs healing today more than ever. 과거 의학은 크게 발전했지만 점점 더 많은 사람들이 육체적 정서적 어, 정서적으로 병들고 있습니다. We are so developed in science and medicine and yet the people on earth are getting sicker and sicker physically, emotionally and mentally. 왜 이런 일이 일어날까요? Why is this happening? 물질적으로는 더 편리하고 발전된 사회가 되었지만 왜 우리의 삶의 질은 이전보다 더 나빠진 걸까요? Even though we've come so far as a society with conveniences and medical and scientific advancement, why do we seem to be doing worse than before? 지금 세상은 여러 차원의 힐링이 필요합니다. Our world needs many levels of healing right now. 자기 힐링, 가정 힐링, 사회 힐링, 국가 힐링, 글로벌 힐링이 필요합니다. What we need is self-healing, family healing, community healing, societal healing, and global healing. 그런데 우리가 세상을 힐링한다는 생각을 하면 너무 큰 개념처럼 느껴져서 어, 잘 와닿지 않을 수도 있고 좀 부담스러울 수도 있습니다. And yet when we try to think about healing the world, it can seem like such a huge concept that it's hard to wrap your head around it or know what to do. Love Hills 다큐멘터리에서 지금 우리에게 필요한 여러 차원의 힐링에 적용할 수 있는 건강의 원리를 공유하고 싶었습니다. In the documentary film Love Heals, I wanted to share a health principle that I believe will help facilitate this healing that we need. 그 원리가 바로 어, 수승 화강입니다. That principle is precisely water up, fire down. 이 수승 화강을 이해하려면 에너지에 대한 것을 이해해야 됩니다. To understand water up, fire down, first you have to understand energy. 또 착화에 대해서도 우리가 또 알고 있어야 됩니다. And you also have to know about your chakras. 서로를 사랑하고 세상을 살리는 것에 대해서 말하는 것은 쉽지만 실질적인 행동이 없는 수상적인 생각에만 그칠 수도 있습니다. It's easy to talk about saving the world and loving each other, but those can be abstract thoughts with no tangible action for what to do next. 저는 생명이 들어가는 기본 법칙, 수금 화강을 통해서 보다 실질적인 자가 힐링법을 알려주고 싶었습니다. So I really wanted to share actual methods and tools that you can use to heal yourself uh, because it's a principle of na and law of nature. 수성 화강은 물은 위로, 불은 아래로라는 간단한 에너지 법칙을 얘기합니다. To water up, fire down speaks of a simple energy principle in which cool energy uh, rises and warm energy falls. 즉 시원한 에너지, 시원한 에너지는 어, 위로 올라가고 따뜻한 에너지는 아래로 내려가는 에너지의 균형 상태입니다. So it talks about a state of energy balance where the cold energy, the cool energy needs to go up and warm energy needs to come down. 
자연에서 수성 화강의 현상을 볼수 있습니다. In nature we can see this phenomenon of water up fire down energy circulation. 그런 경험이 다 있을 겁니다. And I'm sure everyone has that has had that experience. 우리가 육체적, 정서적, 정신적으로 불안한 상태는 수성 화강이 깨졌기 때문이라고 말할 수 있습니다. So when we feel physically or mentally or emotionally unstable, then you could say that we've lost that water up, fire down energy balance. 저는 많은 사람들에게 스스로를 힐링할 수 있는 방법을 알려주고 주위 사람들도 힐링할 수 있도록 돕기 위해서 수성 화강을 알리고 있습니다. And I'm sharing about this principle of water up, fire down because I want so many people to be able to heal themselves and also to help the people around them through this energy principle. 저는 오늘날 지구와 인류가 겪는 많은 문제와 불행이 개인 및 집단의 수승 화강 에너지 안전 상태가 깨졌기 때문이라고 생각합니다. I believe that many of the issues and unhappiness that we see in our world and in humanity today is caused by this disruption in the water up, fire down, energy balance and circulation. 수승 화강은 보편적인 조화와 균형의 원리입니다. Water up, fire down is a, an overall and general law of balance of energy circulation. 개인에게서 조화로운 균형이 깨지면 건강에 문제가 생기고 사회와 국가의 조화로운 균형이 깨지면 혼란과 절망을 낳습니다. When that harmonious balance is disrupted in the individual, it can cause health issues. And when that same harmonious balance is broken in societies and countries, it causes chaos and despair. 우리는 지금 세계 곳곳에서 슬픔과 절망을 보고 있죠. We're seeing sadness and despair in all parts of the world right now, aren't we? 희망을 포기하는 친구가 너무나도 많습니다. We see so many signs that are pointing towards giving up hope. 저와 균형을 되찾을 수 있는 자연의 원리를 안다면 그 절망을 빛나는 희망으로 바꿀 수 있습니다. But if we know the natural laws that can bring health back to us and bring that balance back, we can transform that despair into a shining glimmer of hope. 이 다큐멘터리가 우리 한 사람 한 사람에게 자신을 치유할 수 있는 힘이 있고 그 힘의 핵심은 바로 뇌에 있다는 것을 알려주고 싶습니다. I hope this documentary will give you hope to remember that you have the power to heal your body and that power is found in your own brain. 여러분이 지금 여기 이 시간에 살아있는 이유가 있습니다. There's a reason why you are alive today, right here, right now. 여러분은 지구를 힐링하는 데 아주 중요한 역할을 맡고 있습니다. You have a very significant role in this earth's healing. 그렇지 않습니까? Don't you think so? 자기 스스로를 절대 과소평가하지 말기를 바랍니다. So please never underestimate yourself and your value and worth. 여러분들의 영혼은 인류 역사에서 아주 중요한 이 시기에 태어날 것을 선택했습니다. Your soul chose to be born at this pivotal time in human history. 여러분들은 지구의 힐링을 돕기 위해 여기에 있습니다. You are here to help the earth to heal. 지구의 힐링은 자신을 힐링하는 법을 알고 배운 것으로부터 시작이 됩니다. All the massive global healing, it starts with knowing and learning how to heal yourself. 자신을 사랑한 방법, 자신을 존중한 방법. How to love yourself, how to respect yourself. 자기를 돌보는 방법. How to care for yourself. 힐링은 자기 자신을 사랑한 것부터 시작이 됩니다. Healing starts with self-love, with loving yourself. 자기에 대한 사랑이 자라서 타인에 대한 사랑이 됩니다. And when your love for yourself grows, then it becomes love for other people. 모든 사람이 자신을 사랑하고 다른 사람을 사랑할 수 있을 때더 희망찬 지구의 미래를 만드는 것입니다. 
when every person on earth can love themselves and also love others, then we can all work together to create a more hopeful future for the earth. And so each of us has a role, a part to play in that. 인류의 희망은 위대한 몇몇 사람에게 있지 않습니다. And hope for humankind is not found in just a few particular individuals. 우리 한 사람 한 사람이 각자의 역할을 다 해야 합니다. We need each and every person to do their part. 우리가 매일 하는 개인적 집단적인 생각과 행동이 우리의 현실과 미래를 만듭니다. And then our individual and collective actions and choices that we make and do every day form our reality. We're standing at the crossroads between going towards mutual destruction or collective thriving. 먼저 자신의 몸을 수긍화강의 상태로 만들고 다른 사람들과 공유해야 합니다. So what we need is for every person to first make water at fire down in your own body and then we can share it with others. 하나가 둘이 되고 둘이 세, 넷이 되는 식으로 충분히 많은 사람들에게 도달할 때까지 공존한 세상을 함께 만들어 갈수 있기를 바랍니다. So I hope we can start with start with one person and one person becomes two and four and we have this exponential growth until we can reach enough people so that we can all live together in harmony. 우리가 원하는 세상, 우리가 꿈꾸는 인류의 역사를 다 함께 만들어 갑시다. Let's work together to create the world that we want and the world and life that we dream of. 여러분과 끝까지 함께 하겠습니다. And I will be together with you all the way to the end. 사랑합니다. I love you so much. Wow, thank you so much for your message. It's always so special to have Ilchi Lee make an appearance on our channel. We really want our viewers to know and feel the person behind Brain Education. And also, it's so incredible to see something as simple as Water Up, Fire Down and seeing how it can be used in such a profound way to impact your health and well-being. And Water Up, Fire Down, I don't know about you guys, and I don't know about you, but it just makes so much sense to me, right? It does. Yeah, what do you guys think? Would you guys type your comments about Water Up, Fire Down in the chat? Yes, I definitely agree. And all of this has got me so pumped up to watch this documentary. Ooh. What do you guys think? Are you excited to see it too? We want the movie. <laughs> we want the movie. <laughs> All right. We won't make you guys wait any longer. Now it's time to premiere the exclusive sneak peek, the 12 minute version of our Love Heals documentary. So if you haven't done so already, grab some popcorn, get some snacks, sit back, relax, and please enjoy our premiere. Pain is interesting. When we feel it, we typically see it as a sign that something is wrong in our body. At first, it feels like a signal. But when you go from doctor to doctor, unable to figure out what is the cause, the pain becomes something else entirely. It begins to feel as though it's out to get you, to rob you of joy and peace in its presence, almost like an enemy. It doesn't just impact the person experiencing it. It impacts every person who surrounds them. For so much of the past four years, I watched my partner Dana suffer with chronic pain. What started as a calf injury spread into both legs, went up her sciatica, and into her back. For over a year, doctors had no answers. Even Eastern medicine practitioners couldn't help. Then an MRI showed what we were told were spinal abnormalities, and we thought we found the answer. After resisting the idea of spine surgery for several months, 
Dana reluctantly agreed as her condition worsened to the point she struggled to even walk. She went in for the first surgery at the beginning of COVID and six weeks later had to have another emergency surgery after a spinal fluid leak was found. As she laid alone in the ICU, praying for death when they couldn't manage her pain, I felt so helpless and I wondered how we ever got here. The months that followed were some of the hardest of both of our lives. Dana was on bed rest for two weeks and slowly began to move again. For months, we assumed her increased pain was due to surgery recovery, but as the months went on, we realized the surgeries did more harm than good. What was supposed to relieve her pain had only caused more, and we felt devastated. We have a physiological issue that medicine keeps throwing these structural solutions at, and it's just not gonna work. By the way, the research shows that chronic stress is what causes chronic pain and disease. It's not the big stress, it's just the low-grade, chronic, low-grade stress. As we traveled the country and spoke with other experts from various backgrounds, we were surprised to hear similar answers. Symptoms like pain and illness seem to be a clue pointing to something else. Modern pain science now says that the brain has a strong opinion on whether the pain will continue or not. Even though I'm a, I'm a pain psychologist, and it sounds ridiculous, most of my colleagues just try to change people's thinking, I don't change your thinking. What I do is I calm the, the body down first, and then the brain starts to rewire. An understanding, a holistic understanding of body and mind, that this is one entity, this is not separate, and that anything that happens in the mind will affect the body um, and vice versa, you know, it's the mind really that needs the healing. Illness and pain are symptoms that you're not living in harmony and that you should be dealing with the symptom not as the problem, but as a message that says, do something else. What was that something else? Dana had tried so many different modalities for calming her nervous system, yet she was still in pain. Was there something we were missing? Years earlier, Dana and I had experienced an amazing retreat in Sedona that forever changed our lives. After seeing some of my work, the founder of the retreat center, Ilchi Lee, asked me if I would be willing to create a documentary on healing. As a world-renowned educator, spiritual teacher, and author of over 40 books, Ilchi Lee has spent his life sharing ancient practices known to help facilitate healing. He wanted to share with the world the power of energy balance and said it was truly the secret to becoming our own best healer. What sparked my attention was his focus on the brain. This is the way that the human is able to make a healthy and healthy problem and the problem of the environment is the same as the human is in the same way. 이것을 통해서 많은 문제가 해결되지 않는가 이렇게 난 생각을 한다. I now knew how much our nervous system played a role, and I was so curious how energy balance impacted the nervous system. To be honest, I was also skeptical. Dana had tried energy healing modalities prior to surgery, and she was still in so much pain. I knew there were people who healed themselves through balancing their energy, and I had so many questions. I felt like this was the perfect opportunity to understand how this all worked and see if that understanding could help Dana too. More than just creating a film, it felt like a continuation of our healing journey. So I said yes. To learn about this concept of energy balance, we began filming in Sedona, the place where the energy is strongest in all the world. 사드나에 오는 많은 사람들이 사드나 오게 되면 힐링도 받고 또 메시지 들을 수 있다는 기대감을 갖고 온다. 사드나를 통해서 자기 안에 숨어 있던 자연 치유력이 폭발하도록 사드나가 도와주는 것이다. 그 볼텍스가. So yeah, energy is measurable. I mean, even in science, energy is measurable, right? Mm -hmm. Think about your own body, right? So when you're feeling low energy. Like, how do you feel? Like, you know when you're low energy. Yeah. Healing takes huge amounts of energy. So one of the reasons that people often can't resolve their conflicts or heals because they don't have any energy. 
<laughs> emotionally, mentally, or physically. But by virtue of the fact that Sedona has so much energy and you're standing on it, all that energy is being poured into your field. Energy can be considered in two aspects of it. So one level is force. Uh, and force can be destructive like uh, x-rays. But the other side of energy is left out of medicine and that's called information. Energy is information. The invisible field is what gives structure to matter. Change consciousness and the matter changes right afterwards. And that's why energy is so important. In a short period of time, I watched Dana transform before my eyes. Although her pain remained, she had found deep love and acceptance within. I wondered, what about people experiencing these practices for the first time? Can a person change their life in a short period of time if they learn to connect their mind and body and calm down their nervous system through energy balance? Our lives had been forever changed after attending a retreat in Sedona, and we felt this would be the perfect place to bring people together to learn about this ancient wisdom. So we reached out to Dr. Erica to share our idea and see if she would help oversee the experience with her research background. Together, we selected 18 people who were struggling in life and ready for a transformation. My longest running condition are my migraine headaches. There are mornings I definitely don't want to get up. It's mentally exhausting to be in pain all the time. My heart failure is to the point where the cardiologist I see is in the advanced heart failure clinic and my next step will be transplant. I sometimes feel stuck and I sometimes feel that I need some support to break through my own self-imposed blockages. All my joints are jacked up and so I every day feel pain. I actually want to like change my life. There isn't really a cure for what I've got going on. So I've been going to the hospital and they do doing tests on me and they can't really find too much wrong with me. I don't want to be on medication anymore, but like, is there something else I can do? It doesn't matter what I eat. Like my stomach is just constantly hurting. I'm not convinced. I know all the layers that exist in healing that are there. I'm uh, mentally exhausted, um, you know, and I don't know how to get out of this cycle that I'm in. I need a reset. I need a break. I'm running on zero and I'm there for everyone else, but I have nothing left. These calls impacted me deeply, and I wondered just how much they would be able to change in five days. And then your hand, like this scooping motion. Yeah. And then, like, almost like striking. Yeah. And you can a little bit bounce <laughs> and have fun too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, um, if you go like this, you're going to get tired very quickly. So it's like kind of flowing movement. Yeah. And then show 10 feet or 5 feet. Your choice. <laughs> So we don't want to feel pain, so we numb ourselves. Then we learn to disengage and disconnect from a feeling, and we bury. Then what happens? We create blockages. And then when energy is blocked, then we begin to see symptoms like illness. I didn't realize how desensitized I was. I initially wanted to run away. It, it was just like, wow, I've, I've spent all these years ignoring my body, being angry, putting things that aren't great for me into my body. Then no wonder my body would react, manifest in other ways, like sleepiness or depression or anxiety, because it's just stuck in there. I realized that I have been running away from my pain because I didn't want to be my mom. And I was just imagining myself as a child having all of these traumas and just sh like putting them in my body and then uh, trapping them away. This idea of I have so much joint pain and if you think about your joints, they're kind of your stability. I realized that I've always been searching for stability and no one's ever been able to provide it for me. And so I've asked 
I've been looking and looking and looking and then I realized you're the only one that can provide it for yourself. I've never given myself self-love. I've never talked to my body, appreciated my body. I've always judged it. I just wanted to be this thing that I saw that others loved. All this time, I could be that for myself. Yeah, being able to access that peace in here that's beyond the erratic thoughts. Witnessing people connect to themselves for the first time, learn to forgive and love themselves, I felt a shift among all of us I didn't know was possible. As we wrapped up five days together, I was in awe of what I witnessed from behind my camera. If this much transformation was possible in five days, I wondered about the next few months. How much more could their lives change if they continued using these tools? Oh my goodness, that was so touching and inspiring. <sighs> yes. What did you guys feel while watching? Could you type in the chat box? That really was so touching. And I particularly resonated with Dana's story a lot because I also went through a lot of health issues before I learned about energy healing and before I learned about water of fire down. So for Dana, as you guys saw, it was pain from a spinal surgery. And for me, it was pain from hormonal issues. And maybe for some of you watching in the audience, you also have your own version of a story like this, or at least know someone close to you who is going through something similar. The documentary touches on some points that naturally incite questions. Now, here are some of the questions we've gathered from people on social media who are talking about this film. So Dana and Chrisanna will just ask you these questions and maybe each of you can answer from your own perspective. We also have a question that was sent for Il Chili that we'll ask here as well. So question number one is, what lessons did you learn while making the film? Uh, so many lessons, but honestly, I think what most impacted me was seeing the connection between self-love and healing. I had no idea just how powerful love is. And in this journey, I realized my own self-love was lacking. So I had to go deep inside and uncover the wounded child within who had experienced so much rejection and shame and was desperately seeking love and acceptance. So I wouldn't say I've arrived, but I feel much more love and acceptance for myself than I ever have before. And that has changed everything. I think for me, I didn't understand how pain is actually a guide, giving us the opportunity to come back home to ourselves. Mm -hmm. For so long, I was angry about my pain and honestly felt like a victim. This journey has helped me feel incredible gratitude for the pain as it was a necessary part of my journey. I now see that healing doesn't mean getting out of pain. Pain is just part of life. So. Healing is the journey of going within, of connecting to myself and learning to love and accept myself as I am and exactly where I'm at. Mm. Question number two is, what are your future plans for the film? Yeah, so our mission is really to share the film with as many people as possible. So for 2022, we are focused on hosting virtual screenings. Some of these will be hosted by Get Right Films, while others are partnering with organizations, companies, and individuals who want to share this with their communities. And then in 2023, we will be looking at potentially licensing rights to the film to Netflix, Hulu, or something similar. If you want to share this film with your community, school, company, church, spiritual community, et cetera, et cetera, we would love to hear from you. So please reach out to us at hello at getbrightfilms.com with any ideas that you may have to help us spread the message about Love Heals. We would also recommend that you subscribe to our newsletter from the lovehealsfilm.com website 
and follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram, as this is where we're going to be sharing all information about future screenings and live events. And now this next question we have is for Ilchi Lee. I've tried many healing modalities in the past, but I can't seem to get the full results that I expect. What am I missing? What can I do to heal my body? And so anyone who has the brain and anyone who has that uh, intention can experience water up, fire down, and anyone who wants to love yourself and the world, you can experience this. But to do that, you need to know about energy and experience energy. Energy is a little bit So let's do a little something together about energy. Because you're hearing me speak, then you get to experience energy and you'll get to know energy in that way. That's why language is important. And also writing is important. Without language, without words, humankind would not have been able to progress and advance and, and develop as we have. When it comes to water up, fire down, or energy, key energy, all these things comprise information. Then what's the way to convey or deliver and let people know this important information? So there may be ways to force this on, on people. Or it's possible to learn it in a way that's so uh, enjoyable and helpful and beneficial through interaction between two parties where you, where you have trust and faith and love. 이 세상의 정보 전달 방법은 이 교육을 통해서 이루어지는데 그 교육은 강제적일 때가 있고 아주 상호 협조적일 때가 있습니다. So in this world we have different ways of delivering information and so that education can be uh, sometimes very uh, one-sided and sometimes it's very collaborative. 대부분 학교에서 이루어지는 거라든지 종교에서 이루어지는 거라든지 이런 것은 어 and oftentimes when it comes to school or religion that are delivering this education rather than working together towards the common goal, there's more of a there's more force involved. So you could say that actually the, the vast majority of people are more used to that form of education. And for most kinds of education, once you learn something, you have to be tested. And it, it's necessary. 이 교육이 잘 전달되는지 잘 이해했는지 꼭 시험을 봅니다. Because the test is the way to confirm if you learn the material and if the information was correctly conveyed. 근데 그 시험은 상당히 강제적입니다. But test can be so forceful. 어, 상대방에게 허락을 받고 시험을 보질 않습니다. And students are never asked for permission 
uh, students don't, you don't get permission from students to give them a test. 대부, 대부분의 다, 이, 많은 교육들이 그렇게 강제적인 분위기와 환경 속에서 어, 이루어집니다. And so, in so many of these, uh, in so many of these environments, the education, there's a lot of coercion involved uh, in the education. 거긴 별로 이렇게 그 자율적이지도 않고 그리고 서로가 신뢰가 있고 서로 존중하는 것도 부족합니다. And so there's a, a lack of that uh, voluntary aspect or the independence as well as the faith and trust and, and cooperation. 이 민주주의를 주장하는 그런 국가에서도 교육만은 상당히 그 민주적이지 않습니다. So even in democracies, you'll find that the method of education is not so democratic. 이전 이 교육은 너에게 필요한 거야. 무조건 해야 되는 거야. 이거 하지 않으면 너는 어, 사회적으로 너는 인정받을 수가 없어. So you need this kind of education, and you just have to get it because without it, you will not have be accepted in society. 교육은 어떻게 되면 그, 이, 개인의 그 인격이라든지 그 창조성을 존중하지 않고 어떻게 보면 아주 사회적이고 사회주의적입니다. So in most respects, education rather than really bringing out your personality and creativity, it's more about getting people to conform to society. 그런 환경 속에서 우리가 익숙해 있기 때문에 어, 우리는 항상 교육이라고 하면 어, 이그 교육에 대해서 어, 이 친밀한 것보다는 뭔가 방어적입니다. So when that's the kind of education you're used to, then when it comes to education, rather than feeling very friendly and close to it, you it's easy for people to become defensive. 취미 생활을 하는 것은 다릅니다. 교육은. So education is certainly different from having a hobby. 취미 생활은 재밌게 할수 있는데 그리고 언제든지 자기가 뭐안할 수도 있고 그렇지만 어, 이 교육은 대개 학교에서 이루어진 교육은 그렇게 선택하기 어렵습니다. So when it comes to having a hobby, it's fun. You just do it when you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But when it comes to the education at school, whether you like it or not, or want to or not, that's something you just have to do. So 그런 사회적인 교육 시스템 속에서 어, 우리의 아주 자유롭고 창조적인 뇌는 상당히 스트레스를 받고 그 우리 뇌는 경직이 돼 있습니다. And so our brains are actually so free and creative, but in that kind of uh, educational system in society, our brains can be very tense. 그러니 수승하강이라든지 에너지에 대한 거는 그 가르쳐주는 사람보다는 자기 배우는 사람이 아주 주도적입니다. But with water of fire down and with uh, learning about energy. The focus is not so much on the person who's doing the teaching or guiding, but it's really about uh, guiding the learner to, uh, to help themselves. 다시 얘기해서 교육을 받을 때보다는 이 뇌의 상태가 이 에너지라든지 이런 거를 배우고 어, 이 체험하는 것은 우리 뇌에게 상당히 그 릴락스를 시켜주고 어, 우리 자신에게 자존감을 높여줍니다. And so rather than uh, another typical situation where you're having, you're being implanted with education, the state of your brain when you're learning or experiencing about energy is that your brain is a lot more relaxed and comfortable. 다시 얘기해서 이... 그 수승 화강이라든지 뇌 교육을 체험하는 것 자체가 우리 뇌가 경직된 뇌가 이완이 되고 그리고 우리의 그이 가치, 존엄성이, 창조성이 날개를 다는 것 같다고 얘기할 수 있습니다. 
So you could even say that experiencing water at fire down and brain education, it makes your brain relax, but you also feel a real sense of self-worth and you can feel your uh, human dignity and your value. 우리 누가 날개를 갖고 있다 하면 그게 뭘까요? 그건 날개는 상상의 날개입니다. 상상을 갖고 있는 거죠. And so it gives your brain wings. And when we say that your brain has wings and your brain can fly, then they're wings of imagination. 네, 대개 학교 교육은 상상을 갖고 교육을 받기가 어렵습니다. But with most forms of education at school, it's really hard to learn that material via imagination. 상상을 잘 허락하지 않습니다. Because the school systems typically are too rigid and don't allow that kind of room for imagination. 너무 정확성만 자꾸 얘기를 하고 조금만 틀려도 딱 거버리고 틀렸다 이렇게 얘기를 합니다. There's so much emphasis on being right or having something correct and being accurate. And so even if you're off by just a little bit, then immediately there's some kind of correction. 그렇지 않습니까? Isn't that right? 근데 에너지를 체험한다는 것 그리고 우리 수승화강을 안다는 것은 틀리고 맞는 게 없습니다. But when it comes to experiencing energy or knowing water up, fire down, you can't get it wrong. 각자 느끼는 게다 달라도 어 그건 나 맞는 거다. So even if every individual feels something a little different, everybody's still correct and right. 그렇기 때문에 에너지에 대한 것을 체험하고 또이 수승화강을 안다는 것은 그만큼 자기 자신에 대한 그것은 사랑이고 믿음이고 존경입니다. And so when it comes to experiencing energy and knowing water up, fire down, that's how much it's about love and trust and respect for yourself. 바로 그래서 이 뇌교육은 일반 교육과 교육이라는 말을 하지만 그게 다른 겁니다. And that's why even though we, call, we use the word education in brain education, that's what differentiates it so much from all other kinds of education. 그래서 이 에너지를 우리가 체험하면서 우리는 우리 경직된 뇌가 이제 이완이 되고 그리고 우리의 상상력이 막 커집니다. 그래서 뇌가 이 황, 황금 날개를 달고 날라다니는 것 같습니다. And so uh, when we get to experience energy, then your brain that was so tense and tight and stiff before can be so relaxed. And by uh, having using your imagination, then it's like your brain is getting golden wings. 그래서 이 에너지를 어, 체험하는 것만 해도 에너지를 배우자마자 그런 시간을 우리가 한 시간만 가져도 소화가 되지 않던 위장이 굳어있던 위장이 풀어지고 마음의 긴장이 풀리고 행복해집니다. So when you experience energy, as soon as you learn these methods, even if it's just an hour, you might have had a lot of tension or tightness, knots in your stomach and indigestion, but that can be released. Or even tension and anxiety in your mind can also be released. 학교 교육은 항상 우리가 교육을 받으면서도 시험에 대한 걱정을 해야 됩니다. When you're getting education in school, you're being, you're learning, but also you're always worrying about the next test. 그러기 때문에 우리 네가 진정 진정으로 이완되기 어렵습니다. And that's why it's so hard for our brain to become fully and truly relaxed at school. 근데 이 에너지에 대한 또 수성 화강에 대한 체험을 하다 보면 이걸 다이 완성이 되어야만이 효과가 있는 게 아니라 대개 학교 교육은 졸업해야만이 자격증을 따야만이 그 가치가 이제 나타나기 시작해요. So when you're going to school, then you have to graduate in order to get your diploma or some certification. But when it comes to energy and water up, fire down, as soon as you experience it, then you can reap the benefits. 그러나 이 에너지에 대한 것은 체험하는 즉시 바로 10분이면 10분, 30분이면 30분 체험하는 순간에 바로 우리 몸의 상태가 힐링이 되고 행복해집니다. 
And so with energy, as soon as you experience it, whether it's 10 minutes or 30 minutes or however long, as soon as you experience it, you experience the change immediately and you just feel happy. So energy is the first thing to do. This is a very important thing. And so having that experience of energy, that's something that your brain feels so happy about. 한마디로 한다면 긴장됐던 뇌가 쉴수 있는 절대적인 공간을 만나는 것이 수송화강이다. So in a word, water up, fire down is an absolute space where a brain that used to have so much tension and anxiety can just relax and rest. 많은 사람들이 스트레스가 있고 그러면 여행을 간다. But a lot of people, when they have stress and they want to go on a trip somewhere. 여행 간다고 해서 해결되는 일이 아니다. But going on a trip doesn't solve the issue. 물론 집에 있을 때 보면 낫겠지만. Well, of course, it, it might be better than if you're just staying at home. 그래서 이 상태가 되게 된 바로 뇌파가 달라진다 과학적으로. And so when you enter into this state, then even scientifically, your brain waves are different. 그래서 머리가 수송하게 돼 시원해지고 땀이 나고 그 다음에 단전이 살아남으면서 의욕이 생긴다. 자신감이 생긴다. And so uh, with water of fire down, your head becomes cool, you can have sweat, your tanjeon, your energy center in your lower abdomen, it comes alive with fire and heat. And then not just that, but you feel motivated and confident. 사는 것이 그동안 기쁜 걸 몰랐는데 살 맛이 난다. 이렇게 바뀐다. 진짜 살고 so the, 싶다. The change that happens is before you didn't know what life was about or you didn't feel like you didn't feel alive, but now you really feel alive and you want to live. 그것이 바로 이 수승화강이 되면 삶에 대한 의욕을 갖게 된다. So when you have water up, fire down, energy circulation, you have that motivation and drive for life. It makes you become a real go-getter. 바로 보통 몸이 건강해지면 식욕이 생긴다. So normally, if your body becomes healthy, then you have a healthy appetite. 네, 우리의 그 의식이 안정이 되고 수성하게 되게 되면 우리 삶에 대해서 긍정적인 마음과 자신감이 생긴다. And so, um... Your consciousness, uh, not only does your consciousness become stable um, and you have water up, fire down, energy circulation, but you have that appetite for life and you become more positive and more uh, motivated. And so whether it's that uh, appetite for food, desire for food and desire for sex, all of these things are important. Energy. It's energy. 그러나 그런 것은 동물도 다 있다. But the thing is, even animals have those desires. 다시 얘기해서 수성하게 되면 어, 차크라가 살아남면서 어, 삶에 대한 가치를 알게 된다. And so, uh, with water of fire down, not only do your chakras come alive, but you come to realize and know the value of living. 내 생명의 가치가 있다. But my life has value. 자기 생명에 대한 가치를 감지하게 된다. So you become, you have that cognition and awareness about the value and worth of your life. 어, 여러분들에게 그러면 어, 내가 이제 마지막 그 어떤 오늘 이 시간에 메시지를 전해준다면 여러분들이 얼마큼 가치가 있는 존재인지 여러분들이 에, and so uh, my one message that I really want to be your takeaway today is I want you to know how valuable and precious you are. 그 여러분의 가치를 계속 키우는 거는 앞을 보고 목표를 향해서 계속 움직이는 거다. And then to keep growing and increasing that value, you just have to keep uh, looking ahead and moving forward towards your goal. 그래서 우리가 에너지 전선줄을 계속 감아야만이 이 파워가 생긴다. 
and that we have to keep uh, winding that energy line to, so that it can build power. So, 이 우리의 파워를 에너지의 파워를 계속 증폭시키는 역할을 우리가 해야 된다. And then we have to do that work of amplifying that energy and the power of that energy. 그리고 정말로 우리 하는 일이 얼마나 중요한지. And you have to know how important this work is. 그래서 어, 이제 어, 우리가 새해 지금 이런 일을 하고 있다. And this is the work that we're doing in the new year. 2022년은 바로 이 수승 화강 해다. 2022 is the year of love hills and water up fire down. 그래서 우리가 열심히 해서 어, 정말로 이력에 그 지구 시민들이 이런 그 에너지 속에서 어, 살수 있도록 우리가 and so uh, let's keep working and putting in that effort so that we can have 100 million Earth citizens who are living inside of that energy. So, let's keep working hard to share water up, fire down, that which is a human technology for loving yourself. You can do it. Last question. This one is back to Chrisanna and Dana. Why did you select Sedona Mago Retreat Center as the place to host the Energy Balance Retreat? Well, first, it's because it's where Dana and I had actually our first experience at Sedona Mago doing a several day retreat called Finding True Self in 2019. And Il Chibuko, who we feature in the film, was also the head trainer for that experience. And we were so impacted that when Dana and I left, we actually decided that we were completely done drinking alcohol. We had been using it to cope with the difficulty of our journey, I think. And we actually haven't drank since. And that was three years ago. Yeah, it's been a while and the best decision I've ever made, really. So as we thought through how to see the impact on those who had never experienced this ancient wisdom, we thought Sedona Mago would be the perfect place to bring people as they're able to unplug from their busy lives and immerse themselves in healing work for several days. And even though it's still in Sedona, it's actually about 45 minutes from downtown Sedona. So the location feels very remote and provides almost like a cocoon. Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> where people can get away to release and fully focus on themselves and their healing. Yeah. This is such a special healing place. And the retreat that we show in the film is actually a retreat that they have throughout the year. And it's called the Sedona Wellness Retreat. And I will say that this is a place where you're gonna come and you're gonna do the work. You go here when you are ready to release and go within and just uncover the essence of who you are. And the people who dedicate their lives to facilitating this process are unbelievably talented in providing the perfect environment for this to happen. So all I can say is that Sedona Mago is like our home away from home. Mm. Check out their website. You know, they have so many different retreats, but uh, it just, it absolutely was the perfect space for the film. Mm, I couldn't agree more. The hour went by so fast. I'm sorry we didn't have time to get to more questions, but it is time to wrap up now. Chrisanna and Dana have been noting your comments in the chat, but if you have something that you want to connect with them directly about, please email hello at getbrightfilms.com. During today's premiere party, we showed you a 12 minute version of the documentary, but actually the whole thing is so much more and goes on for about an hour and 20 minutes. So aren't you guys curious to see the whole film? Yes, I'm definitely. I'm so curious to see the rest of the story. So if you guys are curious, just like us, starting today until January 30th, 2022, you can watch the full length movie through their website, lovehealsfilm.com. We'll also put that link in the chat so you guys can get there easily. Tickets to watch the full movie are $15 and it will be available to view again between today until January 30th, 2022. Especially if you loved what you saw during our premiere, 
please visit their website so you can watch the whole thing. Why not, right? Then share that with your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, honestly, anyone really, because everyone can benefit from healing. They can benefit from listening to stories about healing and becoming inspired to heal in their very own way. Yes, make sure as the next step from here, you visit their website and watch the full length documentary from now until January 30th, 2022. And before you sign off, we want to mention the super chat below the bar one more time if you want to donate any amount to support our channel and our content. Again, a portion of the donations from today will go to the Love Heals team to support them in their future projects of showcasing brain education to the world. Thank you so much, everybody who's joined our premiere party today. Especially thank you to Dana and Chrisanna and also Il Chili for joining our premiere party. It's always an honor to share with our audience more resources and faces behind brain education. Because from our YouTube channel, it might seem like it's just us two, but, and like a few others maybe on our channel, but actually brain education is a global network of hundreds of teachers and thousands of practitioners all over the world. So let's give another huge round of applause for all of our guests who have presented about the documentary today. Thank you so, so much. Yes, thank you so much everyone for joining. As you leave, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our Brain Education newsletter and follow us on social media and make sure to get your tickets for the Love Heals film. We'll see you in another live, so stay tuned for more updates. Thank you all so much for joining us for this premiere party. We truly appreciate your support. Yeah, and just it's such an honor to be on this channel and to just be sharing this film that we've spent like the last year working on. So we're excited for you to see it. Can't wait for uh, you to go and experience the film for yourself. We'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.